Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be Good morning, good morning. Getting up, getting ready for work this morning. Getting ready for work is my long day, my long day. So, usually when I get ready for work, I'm in the morning, this is it. I am um, until tomorrow morning. So, I have two full time jobs currently. I'm in a contract, I'm a nurse, and I'm in a contract. And I work three nights a week overnight. So right now I'm getting ready for work to go to my first job. And yeah, so we're going to brush our teeth. And then we're going to do a little skin care. Get dressed and be on our merry little way. And so this morning I've already taken my middle child to school. Um, he has to be at school quite early in the morning. So... I've already taken him to school and currently the time is 7.20 a.m. So, yeah. So, on Wednesday, I really be trying to do it. as much race as I can <laughs> the night before because I know I'm going to be up. For the next few days. Um, for the next 36 hours, I guess I should say. wonder how people <laughs> brush their teeth because I know how I brush mine. I know my regimen. But brushing your teeth is so critical. I usually use three different toothpaste throughout the week. I use this one. And I also use this one which is almost empty. Sometimes I use four, depending, and then I use this one also. So these are the three that I'm using currently, and it just depends on what's going on with me, with my dental hygiene, um, or what I'm feeling like that day. If my teeth are feeling like super sensitive because I grind my teeth in my sleep, I'll use this one. Um, and then if I'm feeling like I need to be like extra fresh. I might combine this one with this one or use one of the other. It just depends on how I'm feeling that morning. This is my other toothbrush, so I'm going back in. I'm getting getting my molars real good. I don't became slightly obsessed with brushing my teeth a little bit. Try to keep this stuff at a minimum, but yeah. have a mouth guard that I I sleep with so I brush that also um have a mouth guard I sleep with you probably can't see it 
But yeah, I brush that also. Just try to get all the bacteria and stuff out of it before I put it back in this case to be used for the next time. So like I said, today is Wednesday, it's my long day. So normally when I get up in the morning to get ready on a Wednesday, I'm not technically gonna see my house again until Thursday morning. And then even then, I'm not gonna really be in my house for a long time because on Thursday mornings, like in the morning, like say for instance, tonight when this after evening when I get off work at my first job, I go. I'm gonna wet my face a little bit because I'm gonna do my skincare. So when I get off of um, work at my um, first job, I come home refresh myself if I don't wear scrubs to my first job then I change and put on scrubs because I have to wear scrubs to my second job so I change and put scrubs on if I don't wear scrubs to my first job but I've tried to get myself in a habit depending on what's going on in my first job I may and may not um, put scrubs on but I try to make it a habit to wear scrubs on Wednesdays and Fridays also because Friday is also another long day for me but I try to make it a habit of putting scrubs on. I'm just going to put some eye cream on. It's almost empty. But um, I got this in like a boxy charm box. But it works. So I've been using it. It lasted for a long time also. But as I was saying. I try to uh, make it a habit to wear scrubs on those days. So it minimizes the time for me to have to get ready for my second job. And um. I can come home, check up my kids, you know, and head on out to my second job because I usually only have like 30 minutes in between getting home from my first job. I'm going to take this down because it's pulling. I usually only have like 30 minutes in between getting home from my first job and then um, having to leave for my second job. And my second job is 12 hours. I work. 6.45 to 7.15 in the morning. The next morning. So that's why I was saying it's my long day. And I'm not going to see my house again technically until Thursday morning. But even then, when I get off on Thursday morning at my second job, all I have time to do is come home, take a shower, get dressed for my first job once again. So I'm literally up for over 40 something hours and I work for about 36 hours 30 something hours um, give or take well not really that long but you know in between the travel and stuff so like I said I'm doing my face stuff so I put this on first under eye I don't know if you can see it Ugh, it's giving a glare and then I go in with this brightening serum. Um, Cause I need help, <laughs> especially when I be up like this. But like I said, this is my last week in my contract. I'm not extending, I extended twice and I'm not extending this time. Um, I need some time off and get things together I um, moved into the, the home that we have um, I got the home in June I moved in in July fully because I was still in my apartment my apartment was still paid for um, for the month of June so I was just kind of moving things slowly and then officially moved in here in July but needless to say since I've been working two jobs since then I haven't had time to do anything in my house I'm putting this on. Um, it's just the moisturizer. I have a little bit of blessed oil um, that I always do. Put it, put it with that. I, my faith is, I believe it's helping my skin. I had a really bad skin um, situation happen 
a few years a couple years ago and it lasted a oh, while. Wow. It lasted for over a year and I couldn't understand what was going on with my skin. So I'm trying to keep it keep that at bay. So I mix oh the other little thing with some hyaluronic acid. And I put them all together. I don't know how to rub them in my face. And I get in my ears because my ears peel. Psoriasis just ter just tears my ears up. And they just peel and burn and everything else. So, anyway, I'll put this on. And <clears throat> try to get that neck. You know what I'm saying? That neck. Keeping that neck looking young. That neck in order. I noticed that as the older I get, the more moles <laughs> I get on me. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, and this big old forehead is just shining. So then, to help with the puffiness in my face, I go in with this. Um, I don't even know what they call this little thing right here. But anyway, it vibrates. And it's cold, so I usually go under my eyes with this portion of it. And just kind of try to push some of that puffiness out of my eye. I do the same thing on the other side. Because, honey, the older I've gotten, the more um, my face has changed, you know. And I guess it's the aging process, whatever. Um, and I always tell people, I am not aging gracefully. I, I just can't do it. I'm not. I'm going to do whatever I can to keep my youthfulness. Now, I don't have to put much effort into it right now. But I know in about five years or so, a girl is going to have to go hard. So I need to do what little I can right now. Now, I can't afford to be going to get facials and all of that right now. But one day I will be. Once I get all my finances and stuff together and get back where I need to be, it was not an easy task getting into this house. So I'm still recouping from that. And then also I relocated from Texas to here a little over a year ago. So I'm still recouping from that because when you move from one state to the next and you're a single mom like me, it's hard. It's hard out here for us, especially when we're trying to do something. Anyway, so I've changed the head on it and I'm going to go in with this. So I'm going to do this like on my face. But I was watching Peyton and Peyton said, if you do this, like you take the thing and you kind of do it around your mouth, it'll plump your lips up. And I think she right. Because after I do it, I feel, my lips feel a little tighter, you know. So I think she right about that. And then after I do that, I just take it and I go just kind of, and I do this every morning and every night. It's just my little maintenance thing, what I can afford to do. And try to keep this face right and tight. And I go down on my neck. Kind of like a lymphatic massage, I guess. Just, and I also, I'm gonna I don't know, but I also feel like it does a little bit of something like it brings in that jawline and that cheek I think, to me. I could be wrong, but to me, that's what I feel like. Anyway, so I'm still working on getting things where they need to be. Unpacking boxes. I still got so many boxes up that I need to unpack. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time, slowly but surely. So now that we've got that done. We go on to the next thing. So as you can see, 
my eyebrows are super thin. So thin, in fact, that I literally draw them on every morning. I have to. Now, I have went to the store without my eyebrows on. Just on a store run, but I really don't like leaving my house without them. It's become a part of me. I'm really self-conscious about it. I'm going to wipe this countertop off. I'm really self-conscious about it, and I just... It just became a part of me, you know. So, so yeah. So last night I was watching, and this is kind of like a introductory vlogmas. I keep making introductory videos to YouTube, and I just cannot get it. I'm always critiquing myself, like I'm my biggest critic. But I know once you, anytime you start something new, when you're an amateur, it's gonna show. I don't have to be professional style and just know everything and know what to say and how to act and it just doesn't have to be perfect but in my head i just be like i'm not posting it like i'm not posting it on the internet <laughs> but um i got to get started somewhere or i'm never gonna get started i've been planning this for years matter of fact the camera that i'm using is so old it was the first camera i got to blog with and it's old like years old and i'm not getting a new one no time soon it'll work whatever but anyway, um, as I was saying, I was watching Peyton's um, vlogmas last night. Now, I have a few YouTubers, like, I just indulge in them. And Peyton Charles is one of them. I just, man, she's so real. I really enjoy watching her YouTubes, and I try to catch every last one of them. Um when I can when I'm not working or being a mom of course or any of the other multiple hats that I wear thank God I'm able to do it I'm not complaining but anyway I was watching her video last night and um, one of her vlogs she had made a comment about guys DMing her her photos and DMing her on her photo, but like DMing her about her photos and giving her compliments. And then, but those guys wouldn't come up, comment on the actual, uh, the actual post. Hold on. Lorani. Yeah. Oh, you up? Put some clothes in the washer. Just a few. I don't want it too full. And I'll start it before I leave for work. Anyway. Um, so she was talking about how they will DM her, but they wouldn't come in on the actual post itself. Like they give her compliments in private, but they won't give her compliments in public. And I totally understand what she's saying and I get it because it happens to me. Now, I'm not as beautiful as Peyton or, you know up there but I it's it's happened to me like people would DM me and DM me my photos that I post on some social medias and DM me about them but they won't say anything to me like on my actual post so it is kind of like first of all this is how I am if you in a relationship don't DM me at all like don't even look at my photos so if the reason why you can't post on it is because whatever background, whatever, fine. Don't even DM me. Like, just don't do it because it's weird to me. It's like you liking my photos, you looking at it, but you won't comment on it. But like she said, you will go and comment on another dude's post and, um say whatever it is that you you want to say and i totally get it because it's happened to me and i can totally relate to her story and her situation so she also stated that somebody got offended off of a statement that she made in that video and i'm with her too off of that video that i watched last night like the world has became so uh me too um in everything that you 
really don't have freedom of speech anymore. You really don't have an opinion anymore. Like I can't have an opinion about certain things externally. I can have all the opinions I want internally, but if I voice an opinion or how I feel about certain things, I'm all of a sudden a basher of whatever it is that I have an opinion about versus it being my opinion. And everyone has one, just like everyone has, you know what? <laughs> like people aren't perfect out here in this world and people have a right to have their opinions and say what they want to say and express themselves how they choose to. That's another thing that we try to make so out there like you should be able to express yourself how you want to so why is it when somebody makes a comment is taken out of context when it's just an expression you know so people use anything I feel like to be on a woe is me bandwagon I'm, I'm just gonna be honest people do whatever to be on a woe is me bandwagon people do weird stuff to call themselves trying to counsel somebody because they didn't like what they said. Well, hey, everybody don't like what you say. And that's how everybody, that's everybody in the world. And what another person says shouldn't affect you because what another person eat don't make you shit. So why should it affect you that much to where people getting booty hurt because people have opinions about certain things or a certain group or whatever. Clearly you looking at me and I'm a black woman. But if I got offended by everybody that made somewhat of a racial comment or somewhat of a comment that is this liking of who I am as a person, dang, I lose my mind. So I just don't understand why it's such a big deal that when a person makes a comment about something like it just goes left like it like people get on this whole woe is me and me too situations like it's crazy like what what kind of world are we living in where we don't even have a freedom to express ourselves or freedom to have our own opinions about things or express ourselves like you can be the most loving person in the world and once you say that one thing that may offend a group of people it's just taken all out of context and it's crazy and how people will ruin other people's lives or make them feel I'm gonna guess I'm gonna say insecure about voice about their opinions to the point where they don't want to express them anymore it's kind of sad it's sad the world that we live in like people are so sorry I'm trying to get really get to it people are so <sighs> opinionated in the wrong way they opinionated about other people's opinions i'm just say that you opinionated about somebody else's opinions and you shouldn't be because what a, one person eat don't make you shit so you shouldn't give a damn about what they say you shouldn't care at all but people care if people care and they make issues about it and in, in any it's not even worth the issue that they done made about it like whatever it's, it's just not that deep for me to care about what somebody else think now in my case oppression has been a big thing and I'm not going to get into that because that's totally different than somebody having an opinion and it not affecting me and then someone doing things to actually affect you Someone making a statement or making a comment expressing how they feel doesn't affect you. So why do you take it personally? Now, if someone takes actions against you to affect you because of who you are, then you should get upset. But because somebody made a comment, like, the heck? Like, it's so, it's, it's stupid. Like, um... She also made a comment about some other, like a other phrase she say, and I thought the phrase was funny. I can see how people would get offended by it, but again, how one person express themselves or how one person come um, make statements to express themselves shouldn't affect another group of people that much because she's not doing anything to stop you 
from living a quality life. She's not doing anything to prevent you. And that's with anybody. I'm not going to just use her because I'm just stating. When a person makes a comment to express themselves, they're not doing anything to stop you from living your life to the fullest. They're not stopping you from being able to feed your kids or be harmonious in whatever bubble it is that you're living in. So why would a statement be that detrimental to where you got to make a comment about it or you got to make an, a, a statement about it? If it made you feel some type of way, don't watch her. Don't follow her. Like... But, but y'all want to hurt people. Y'all want to make people be like, you know what? You're on a platform and you shouldn't say this and you shouldn't do that. That's that's how I take that. That's really how I take that. I take that like you, you want to make a person. Y'all want to make people bow down to y'all expectations and stipulations on how they express themselves and what they say. And that's what, what society has came to. Like everybody got to follow this because if you don't, you might offend somebody and that's going to get you canceled or people aren't going to like you or you're going to get a whole bunch of hate and all that, all this, this and that. Like what, what kind of world are we living in where you can't have an opinion? Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that deep. Like it shouldn't be that serious and a person shouldn't have that much power. A group of people shouldn't have that much power to where they affect how another person or other people opinionate them have opinions and and say what they say or express themselves because just like you express yourself the way that you do it should be okay for the next person to express themselves the way that they do just because we're in a movement doesn't make an expression any different and it's totally unfair it's totally unfair that people take moments like that to get on that woe is me situation and oh, that made me feel some type of way because you said such and such and this, this and that. Okay, it makes me feel some type of way that you took the time to go on there and say something to that woman because of an opinion she or some way she was expressing herself because it really wasn't no opinion to be honest. It was a statement she made about a situation that happened to her with a certain guy or guys which... A lot of women can relate to it. I know that I'm one and I'm one of probably hundreds that can relate to, yeah, dudes get on my on my post and DM me, but they won't say anything on my post. Like, what? Don't say nothing at all. Scroll right on by. I get what she's saying because to me, it give me that same sentiment. Like, you all gonna hold about this dude post and you making comments and stuff. But when it comes to a female, you want to do it in private. Mm, shady to me. And then for someone to take out of everything she said in that statement, they want to take, oh, she said this word or she made this comment. Get on. Get a life. It ain't even about you. It wasn't even about you. So that, that just made me feel some type of way and I wanted to speak on it because... It's sad that um, we as people can't express ourselves. We can't say certain words. It's just sad. And it's it's very, it just makes you scared. Like you're walking on eggshells all the time because you don't want to, you don't want to say something that offends somebody that may cause you havoc that doesn't need to be caused. May cause hate that doesn't need to be caused because there wasn't the intention it's all i'm saying i'm gonna throw my clothes on i'm gonna come back comb my hair then we're gonna get in the vehicle and go get coffee and breakfast and i'll probably pick up a coffee for my coworker because i didn't get her a coffee yesterday and she said something about it so i'll be right back all right people i'm back so i'm dressed in my scrubs and we're gonna comb this hair. I'm gonna tidy this hair up. It's a mess, but we're gonna get it together. And also on days like this, I normally wear my hair in a ponytail. If I'm feeling like it. Yeah, I normally wear my hair in a ponytail. Um, 
If I'm feeling, I'm giving up. Uh, what was it called? Vampire in Brooklyn. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, normally, I wear my hair in a ponytail on days like this just to minimize me having to do it later. But ponytails hurt my head. Like, my stuff be so sore. Anyway, so while I was going, I went ahead and started the laundry for my boys. And see, it's really foggy here and like wet and moist. And look what it has done to my hair. Like my, my hair was straight all over, but now I got this little wavy patch in the front that looks crazy. That looks real crazy. Red mark on my forehead for my scarf. So, if I don't wear it all up, I might do something like this. And, but I'm probably gonna put it all up. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I usually wear it up in the ponytail. I'm gonna have to wear it up in the ponytail this time. It's shedding so bad. I'm gonna have to get me some hair. I'm gonna have to get me something for this shedding. But it normally does that in the winter time. It just be so dry and brittle that it just sheds really, really bad. So get this hair done. Look how big my forehead is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, big forehead self. This is not a good ponytail, but it, it's gonna have to do for today. Get that done. I also need to get some for these dry dandruffs. I done tried just about everything. I done tried apple cider vinegar rinses. I done tried so for eight, I didn't try all kinds of things and nothing works. Um, I'm not gonna do like no big edge stuff, but I try to do something to minimize this forehead, honey, because this forehead is huge. I'm gonna say. It's because you're smart. It's because you're smart, baby. No, it's because I got that dome, okay? <laughs> Shoot, it's because I got that dome going on. So, yeah. I have a cousin I talk to literally every morning. And I'll be thinking, like when I get that urge to call her, sometimes it's because I need to call her because she'll say something when we get on the phone. She'll say something like, oh, I woke up so late this morning. These kids don't be to school late. I woke up late. And I'll be like, dang, I had an urge to call you. I should have called. I should have called and I never do. And right now I got an urge to call her. So I probably should call her. Because every time I had that urge, it'd be the same thing. Like I woke up late. I didn't get up on time. And I'd be like, dang, I had an urge to call, but I didn't call. Sometimes I'd be like, my third eye is in full effect. <laughs> I'm trying to cover up that forehead, honey. And I'm trying to make it seem like that hair is done grew down on this forehead, and it ain't. I thought about getting. I thought about getting um, hair implants around my forehead um, and it's still pretty much a thought. I still pretty much want to do it, but we'll see. So basically this is it. I'm nothing major. Plain Jane. You know, then I have my scrubs on. You can't see them, but 
I do have my scrubs on. Maybe I can see if I can get a wide lens. I don't think I can put an adapter on this particular camera because it's an old one. But like for their wide lens, everybody likes to use. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so we're gonna put socks on. Shoes are downstairs, hair is in a ponytail, scrubs on. Um, I should put my jewelry on. I don't wear jewelry to my second job because it's at a hospital. And yeah, I just, yeah, I'm not comfortable with wearing my jewelry. See, this what's going to happen here. These sides is going to lift up. And this is just going to be flying. Flying. But basically... Um, we're going to get in the car. We're going to go get, um, some coffee and a little breakfast. Um, can't afford to do that. Starbucks is a habit for me and I need to break it because I really can't afford it. But we're going to do it this morning and then we'll re, re-figure out the budget. We're going to do that. Um, maybe this will be my 20th first intro video but um the basis of my channel i'm gonna go on a weight loss journey i need to lose weight i'm very heavy compared to what i used to be and what i can be so i think i'm gonna document that um i'm going to document how i'm going to furnish my home and everything like that because it's a it's a hot mess right now and that's mainly because I work two jobs. I work 36 hours a week at my other job. And I work 40 hours a week at my first job. So I work a lot. So, uh, yeah. So let's, since this is my last week, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm going to miss that extra money. But I, well, I will have more time. Like, I haven't even had time to enjoy this home, do anything, because I've been working two jobs. And it's just, it's just a little too much. So let's get all of this done, put some socks on, grab all my stuff that I need to grab, make sure I got my laptop, I think it's already in the car, and I will see y'all in the vehicle on our way to get some Starbucks and to work. And after that, I can't take y'all into work, HIPAA and all, but after that, um, I may touch bases with y'all once I leave work heading to the house. I really can't record going to my other job because it'll be pitch dark outside and you won't be able to see me. So there will be no point. Um, and I probably won't get on in the morning because it'll be trying to get from my other job, get home, take a shower, put clothes on and get um, get back to work. So that's basically what that is. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, people. Okay, okay, people. We're in the vehicle. And we are headed to work. Uh, I always use my GPS for work because it may just give me like a better or faster route while en route. So I always put my GPS on to see if it's going to give me like a a faster route like this morning. God, I mean because it's traffic out there. So yeah, I always put my GPS on to see if it's going to give me like a better route. I got this little sticky thing up here on my dashboard. <laughs> and I got the camera sitting on it. Let's hope it holds. I bought these things off of Amazon. I think it was like a three pack but I only use one and I have no idea where the other two are. Lips, my lips are chapped. My back seat got stuff in it. And I need to get my garage fixed because it's making some kind of popping noise. I don't know what happened. I think my daughter bagged into it, being honest, and she said she didn't, but I think she did. I really do think she did. Let me text my coworker and ask her if she want a coffee. I'm the moment I saw you. 
Yeah, <laughs> listening to my music this morning. She was before my era, but in my era, if that makes sense. Alrighty. Now that our lips are all moist, all moisturized, let's go. Oh, I want a new car so bad. I'm grateful that I have this car. I'm so grateful that my car is working and it's operable. I need an oil change, but I'm grateful that I have my car. But I want a new car so bad. And I really think I deserve a new car. I work hard. Oh, I'm pale this morning, honey. Ooh, you was pale, girl. Ooh. You is pale girl. So, rooms to go. What y'all delivering? I found this couch that I want at rooms to go. It's really what I desire. The, the structure of it. The, the way it's made. But, I'm trying to debate if I want to go ahead and get it. It's only like $770 something. $700. It was on sale, so I don't know if it's that price now, but that's what price it was. But like I said, I haven't had an opportunity to do anything in my home since I've been in there because I've been working two jobs and um, two full-time jobs, not like a full-time and a part-time, like literally two full-time jobs. So I haven't had a chance to just like do anything that needs to be done. But I found these couches that I want and like the vision that I'm envisioning in my head on how I want to do my living space. I think it would go good. Like I want to do like light colors. Like maybe I definitely want like pink and cream for sure. But I don't want cream couches because I do have children. Um, big kids but nevertheless their kids and you know how kids are they just they're not gonna take care of items the way that you would take care of items so I don't want to get I don't want to go too light on the couches but I do want to do um, I do want to do like a light color theme like an airy theme I think it'll open up the space a lot and give and make it have, look like it has more room in there than it does but I have all these boxes that I need to break down, put things away. And I've done a little bit, but I haven't had a chance to just go full-fledged and getting it all done. Because, again, I work two jobs. So I'm hoping after this week, like on the weekends, because see, I, I work on Saturdays at my second job. I work Saturday nights. So... Saturday day and I get off Friday morning so I work all day Friday all night Friday just like I work all day Wednesday all night Wednesday and all day Thursday so come Friday so Thursday night I go to sleep in my bed at home but Friday when I get up Friday morning and go to my um, and go to my um, first job I'm up all night Friday until Saturday morning then I go I come home Saturday Cause I work Monday through Friday at my main job currently right now I don't know if that's gonna change but then I come home and I my camera's about to die well let's just get to Starbucks <laughs> then I come home and I um, Saturday morning and I go to sleep I get up usually I take my boys to get a haircut on Saturdays at least twice a month um, and I might try to do other little things that I need to do before I go to work so I only get to get like maybe two to four hours of sleep on Saturdays before I have things that I need to do before I go back to work because I have to leave my home about 5.30 to get to work on time. So um, so yeah, I have to leave my home about 5.30 to get to work on time um, to my other job. And so I work all night Saturday, then Sunday morning, the same thing. I get a couple hours of sleep. Then I have to do things around the house, cook dinner, whatever. And then um, 
I go to bed for work Monday, so I really just don't have that time. But once this contract is done, like I said, this is my last week. Once this contract is done, I can then start uh, doing little stuff in the evenings because I'll have more days throughout the week because right now I only have Monday and Tuesday that I can actually do stuff in the evenings, you know? So I can do more things in the evenings and then I'll have all day Saturday, all day Sunday to get things done. So now I can start really just decorating and putting things together in my home. Um, I'm gonna have a shortage of income because I'm not working my other job, but hey, that's cool, it's okay. I just need to start doing something and I could buy little pieces here and there, get what I can. I don't have to be rushed into doing things. I can take my time and do one room at a time. Um, the first thing that I did was my boys' room. I needed to get them a whole new bedroom sets and everything because I sold a lot of stuff and gave away a lot of stuff when I moved here from Texas only because I had like so much stuff and I was moving here. I was moving from a townhome in Texas to a small apartment here. I've never lived in an apartment like this. I mean, I've always lived in like a townhome if I've lived in like an apartment type dwelling. Um, but um, moving into this apartment, the space was small and it's like you living with other people. I was like, I can't, I will never live in an apartment again because it's just not for me. I don't like living with other people. When I say living with other people, like I can smell what foods they cooking. I can hear them. Uh, like, yeah, no. Nah. That's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. So I'm not gonna, um, so that won't happen ever again. Um, it's the Starbucks right from my house and it's in the cut, but sometimes this line be ridiculous and sometimes it don't be so bad. It's not wrapped around the building right now, but it got a line I saw it. Um, but most of the time it's not people here because I don't think many people know about it because it's literally in the cut. But then you have them times where it's just like a line that's out of control and I be like, oh, I don't want to get out. And yeah, so, but I'm going to go through the drive-thru because I'm not getting out. And we're going to get our coffee. We're going to get a little snack to get us through. And I didn't bring lunch today, so I'm probably going to have to get lunch at work. Um, and I don't eat at my um, second job. Um, I have like little snacks and stuff in my bag, like little things to nibble on to keep me up throughout the night. But I don't consume a meal at my other job. I just try my best not to do that. For one, the environment is in a hospital. I don't think that's the most sanitary thing <laughs> to do is eat while like, you know, just sitting up, just eating a whole meal, just consuming. Um, so, and then my first job, I'm more, it's more clinical based. Um, it's still healthcare, but it, I'm more on the, I mean, not clinical, um, office based, clerical based. Um, and I'm in an office type setting versus doing actual patient care. Like at my second job, my second job, I'm dealing with colostomies and um, luckily I don't have any G-tubes um, at this hospital, but I'm dealing with colostomy bags and catheters and urine and wounds and yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to eat. Uh-uh. No. Some people cool with that. Some people got the stomach for it, but I don't. So I don't eat at my uh, second job. But anyway, let me see if my coworker messaged me back about getting her coffee. She didn't say nothing. So I'm gonna order my coffee. And by the time I get up here, she don't say nothing. I'm gonna order my coffee and I'm going to go on. Cause, and then I'm gonna tell her, look, I messaged you. She gonna tell me and say, why you didn't bring me no coffee? Girl, I didn't know you wanted one. And seeing her walking around with a coffee cup a couple of days before, I wanna say Monday. She didn't bring me now, but you know, I'm not an eye for an eye type of girl. I'm going to ask, try my best. I try my best to be nice. So yeah, yeah, this camera is um, bombing on the juice. It's, it's not, it, it, it's about to die pretty soon, but that's okay because I think after I get this coffee, I'm going to head on to work get in my zone, listen to my music, and let that be that, you know. Oh, I'm so pale. 
sometimes I be thinking like I want to get up and do my makeup <laughs> I want to be that girl sometimes I used to be that girl I did I used to be that girl where I get up do my makeup have a full not like a full beat face but it'll be like makeup no my makeup no makeup look it'll be like a really light airy makeup just to cover up some of these blemishes and some of these light you know these pigmentations that I have in my skin you know just pulling myself together making myself look decent but sometimes I just I don't have the energy for it and sometimes I just don't have the time and speaking of energy I need to get back to taking my vitamins because I've noticed that my energy level is like so low and I think that has a lot to do with me not consuming my vitamins and not consuming water and, and, and not eating healthy because I haven't been eating good because again I'm always busy like I'm, I'm on the go 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 so I don't think I've been eating really good like I need to so yeah I was really hoping I could order my coffee and stuff before my camera died but it looked like it ain't gonna it ain't gonna make it it's down to his last little leg and I need I should have brought my charger because I could have been charging it I really could have been but I didn't bring my charger, so. I don't think I have any kind of charger that'll go in there. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I didn't bring a charger, and I don't have any kind of charger. So these are my chakra bracelets. And I try to wear them every day to keep myself centered and keep myself where I need to be. Um, emotionally I think they really work I really like I when I first got them like I felt like a surge of energy and people might say they don't work but I feel like they do I feel I just felt like a surge of energy when I first got them and put them on and they're two different sets like one set like I felt the same thing like I felt like a surge of energy energy that makes me feel like they work you know what I'm saying so um some people might not believe in it. I believe in the universe. I believe in God. I believe that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I believe you can pull energy from certain elements. And I think this is like one of them, you know. So, yeah. There's some people up in front of me. Man, order your stuff so I can order my stuff on camera. I'm trying to make sure I got some content to post. So. Hey, thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Daniel. May I have name, please? Ty. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Well, let's get it here. What can you start today? Let me get a grande, a grande latte with oat milk. Grande oat milk latte. And can I get three pumps of caramel? Three pumps of caramel. Three pumps of vanilla. Three pumps of vanilla. And two pumps of classic sweetener. Classic. And I want this drink hot, so if they could steam my milk, and I want vanilla uh, sweet cream foam on the top. Okay, you wanted that hot with vanilla foam on top? Yes. Okay, what else do you say? And let me have a ham and cheese croissant. And a ham and cheese croissant, gotcha. What else do you say? Um, that will be it. Okay, just want to make sure I heard you correctly. I'm going to get oat latte, three pumps caramel, three pumps vanilla, two pumps classic, vanilla sweet cream foam on top, and a ham and cheese croissant. Yes. All right, 1256. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. So that's my drink. That's the same coffee I get every day, either Grande or Grande or Vente, and that's what I get every single time I come to Starbucks and I cannot afford it, but I do it anyway. Let's see if they can scan for my points. Hello. You got a Grande Latte and a Hammer Swiss croissant, right? Yes. You got a $12 can I scan for my points? Thank you. Can you go ahead and answer that question on the screen? Okay. Okay, here I'm supposed to do There's a hot locker. And there's your card. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. I felt a little raindrop fall on my arm. I don't know if it was my stuff from the roof or what, but it fell on me. 
Alrighty. Let's get on to the get on. I thought I was gonna be at work on time today, honey. I, I can't never get to work on time. And I'm leaving early today, so I'm gonna take a small lunch. But I got my croissant, my croissant, and I got my coffee. Let me taste it. Make sure they put oat milk in here, cause it tastes good. Cause the other day they didn't put oat milk in here. But anyway, that's that for now, guys. My camera is about to die. I don't have a charger. I can't charge it up. It is a chargeable camera. Okay, it's one of them. Okay. And I don't have a charger, so I'm gonna go ahead and head on to work. And um, thank y'all for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe. And my son made my intro video for my timers, so it's very amateur like like my video, and I love it because my son made it, my 13 year old. And um, yeah, so thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I want this to be a positive family base, and I want y'all to see how I grow. So let's get it. Thank you for watching. Toodles. <laughs>